Welcome to Everett Animal Shelter's Pet of the Week. I'm Dee Cordell, and with me today I have volunteer Cindy, who has her lap full of cuteness. Um, welcome, Cindy. Thanks for coming. Well, thank you for having us. And tell us a little bit about what we got going on here. Well, we have here two uh, Corgi Chihuahua mixed puppies. Oh, my goodness. And the third one you have. So um, we've got the one with the little white is Marlin. The uh, one with the little white paws is Dory, and that's Squirt. Squirt. Yes. Named very appropriately. Curtain. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. And they're from the same litter. They're from the same litter. So they're all litter mates. Okay. Yep. They're all litter mates. So I know that it's a big responsibility to adopt a puppy. They're super cute, but at two in the morning when they won't sleep and they want to go out, it's not so super cute. So tell us what an adopter should expect if they're interested in adopting a puppy or what they should, um, what they should be prepared for. Sure. Uh, puppies are 24-7. If anybody's ever had a child, it's very similar. As you say, when they have to go potty at two and then maybe at three, you have to take them out so they understand the, the program. Um, they have lots of energy. They have these cute okay. little puppy teeth that eventually fall out, but they're like little needles. Um, their little nails are very, very sharp, so you just have to have some real patience with these little ones and understanding that with a puppy comes a lot of chewing, so table legs, corners of couches, okay. um, cords. It's very, very important to puppy-proof your house like you would puppy, like you would child-proof a house. Um, anything that's low into the ground is fair game for them. They're just learning their environment. They learn it through mouthing in their mouth. And uh, you really have to just uh, be cognizant and do whatever you can to keep these little guys safe. I think they are fooling us right now with how calm they are because I've yes. seen them in action and they're not like this. No, um, <laughs> they've been very active um, for a while now, so I think they're ready just to kind of have a little bit of calm time. Oh, yeah, um, we've got somebody going down for a nap right there. Right, we've yeah. got somebody going down, so they've been playing for quite a and, and you know, they're like, like any, um, even little babies, they play, 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 sleep. Poop, poop, okay. poop, 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 poop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we should mention yes. they are pooping machines and people also should be prepared Yes. for that as well, which comes with what you were talking about, the patience to get them through Absolutely. puppyhood into Absolutely. adulthood. And I know because they have corgi in them, um, as adults they're going to be, they, corgis tend to be a little nippy, right. a little barky, so right. the new families should be prepared and do some research on that breed to make sure it's something they want to bring right. into their homes. Right, uh, you're right, and that is characteristic of corgis. And really with any puppy, people need to understand that if you have little children, and the children get all excited, the puppies get all excited, the little children run, the puppies are going to run and jump and claw on them as well. So normal puppyhood is that way, and then sometimes with the corgis they tend to want to nip. That's kind of the, um, the hurting, a little bit of a hurting mentality going on, you know, that they just nip at, nip at heels. So. These are the dogs that the queen has, right? Doesn't she have corgis? Do you think they nip at her heels when they run through the castle? Uh, something <laughs> tells me that, that her corgis do not do that. <laughs> I think they've been trained to leave the royal heels alone. <laughs> yes, you're probably right about that. If you're interested in these little cuties, they are going to go very fast. Um, they're available now at the shelter. They could be adopted by the time you get there. Good idea to go to the website, uh, everettwa.gov animals to see if they're on the site, still available for adoption. If they're not, there's lots of other great dogs at the shelters, also puppies available for adoption. Come on down and check us out. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, go to our Facebook page. We do a lot of promotion there about what's in the shelter as well. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for having me. It's been fun. Yeah.